New tonight, a mysterious traffic tie-up just before the afternoon rush hour. And it was all because of birds. This is really weird. Hundreds of birds literally just dropped from the sky and then landed on I-95, bringing traffic there to a crawl. Now, this happened on the northbound lanes in Laurel. And now the quest is underway to determine just what caused the mass kill-off of these birds. Stephen Cheetah joins us now from the edge of the freeway with the very latest there. Stephen? Ellison, you can see traffic moving smoothly now off of I-95, but earlier today, a lot of confusion and concern when birds which were flying in the sky started to crash to the pavement. I-95 splattered with black, the color of hundreds of birds which crashed to the pavement from the sky. But I, I haven't heard of anything locally like that ever. While the traffic jam has eased and the cleanup of the carcasses ceased, the mysterious death of all these birds has a lot of people asking questions. Dan Kennedy says something weird like this happened nearby. Like a week or two ago, something like that, it was a bunch of birds flying into a parking lot. I guess thinking it's water diving in and I don't know. A bunch of, bunch of birds died and you said the same thing happened today on 95, so I don't know. Some here suspect something sinister. Environmental hazards, toxins in the air and in the environment, maybe. And there are those in Laurel who link the death of the birds here to similar incidents elsewhere. Down in uh, Alabama or Mississippi, something like that, again, three to six months ago, I think it happened twice, where a whole bunch of birds just kind of died and just fell out of the sky. One possible culprit is nearby power lines. The birds are starlings, which often fly in large flocks. They move in unison and could have encountered something deadly simultaneously. But with no definitive cause named for killing the birds, some here continue to worry about a hidden danger to themselves. We're next. They're the canaries. Despite these fears and the ongoing speculation, one expert said he believes it's highly possible that a large group of these birds could have flown en masse into the side of a tractor trailer, and that could be what killed them. Reporting live, Stephen Cheetah, ABC.